Sophia, what the hell do you think you're doing? Disappearing as soon as you see my mother? Just because you and her don't get along doesn't mean you can start a fight with her. I mean, we are on vacation abroad, aren't we? At least try to get along while we're here. Um, Dustin, can you not guess why I disappeared as soon as I saw your mother with us? Why is that? Tell me, because I really don't get it. Because today is the first day of our honeymoon. I mean, isn't only the husband and wife supposed to go on the honeymoon? Why then is your mother with us in Guam when we're supposed to be having our honeymoon just the two of us? I mean, she was waiting for us at the airport with a smile on her face. What were you even thinking not telling me about this in the first place? Mom asked me not to tell you because she wanted it to be a surprise. I mean, it's obvious that I brought her because I want to be kind to my parents, isn't it? Huh? What do you mean you're being kind to your parents? Besides, it could be more fun. If my mom comes with us to our honeymoon, we can help her out together. Only good things will come out of this, lol. Huh, what do you mean? We can help her out together. I didn't come all this way out to Guam to entertain your mother or something. Besides, why did you just bring your mother? Couldn't we have brought my parents as well? Huh? Why would you say that? I mean, my mom being here is going to make things awesome. But your parents are just gonna spoil our fun on this honeymoon of ours, aren't they? It's the same logic, right? We could be kind to my parents as well. Do you think that bringing along your mom but not my mom is fair? I mean, it's gonna be different for me if your mom comes instead of my mom, won't it? Come on, Sophia, you're being a bit too selfish here, says my mom. Oh, so you're gonna call me bringing my parents selfish, but what you're doing isn't? Huh? What are you talking about, Sophia? Of course it's not selfish. All I want is my mom to enjoy our honeymoon with us. But you seem to be opposed to that idea. Jesus, it's like I'm talking to AI. By the way, where's your mother gonna stay anyway? She couldn't have come all the way to Guam without hotel reservations, right? Where is she gonna stay? Oh, yeah, she's gonna stay with us in the same room. What? Why did I expect you to say that? I mean, she's gonna be so lonely if she's the only person in a different room, right? So, this is why you wanted to do all the planning for our honeymoon yourself? Of course, I wanna go sightseeing with my mom as well. Even if it is a resort hotel. I can't just let my mom wander around abroad. Jesus, I give up. I don't care anymore. Huh? What's your problem? You're making it seem like I did something wrong here. Are you really so selfish as to not want my mom to share in our fun? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fine, just go with your mom. I'll go sightseeing myself. What? Sophia, are you mad about something? Never mind. I think you do need to cool your head down a bit. I'll be checking into the hotel room with my mom once you calm down. Let's meet up again, shall we? Sophia? To think that you were the kind of mean wife that would tell her mother-in-law not to come with him on their honeymoon? Oh my god, I pity my son Dustin so much. He's better off being single than having a selfish and arrogant wife like you. Even if you were introduced to us by an acquaintance of my husband, we should have turned down the offer the moment we saw you. It seemed that Dustin liked you for some reason, so we had no choice but to accept the marriage. But I haven't accepted you as part of the family yet. As a penalty for being so rude, please don't come with us on our vacation. You're going to ruin our special time of just me and my son together. Ever since you two got married, you've been living with us in Dustin's house. And I've had to put up with a pest in our living space for three whole months. But now, we're finally free of you and we can enjoy ourselves. Apparently, my son Dustin is being kind enough to ask that you meet up with us later on. But if we just let you off with no punishment like that, I feel like we're going to have problems later on. It's going to make you even more arrogant, I think. This Guam vacation is not going to be your honeymoon anymore, but me and Dustin's family vacation. Don't show yourself to us no matter what. Um, Sophia, where did you go last night? I told you to meet us after you had calmed down, right? I don't think you're the kind of person who would sleep outside, but mom says that she wants to go sightseeing already. So me and my mom are just gonna head out. Just tell me when you feel like meeting up with us, all right? Hey, Sophia. Your head's probably cooled down already, right? I'll forget about everything you said about me and my mother. So would you just meet up with us already? We're gonna be returning to the hotel now. But please, could we just stay together starting from tonight or tomorrow? And make sure you apologize to my mom and make up with her? It's really important that you do, because you seem to have really hurt her feelings. She was so excited to spend this special time with you, you know? Huh? What the hell are these texts you're sending me? This honeymoon was supposed to be about us. 
a chance to relax and reconnect after all the wedding stress. Instead, I feel like I'm stuck in some sort of bizarre family therapy session. Hey, Sophia, me and my mom have already returned to the hotel. I don't know where exactly you are in Guam, but stop being so stubborn already and just come back. You're gonna ruin our once in a lifetime honeymoon. If apologizing to my mom sounds difficult, I'll apologize with you, all right? So are you gonna come back? Um, Dustin, I'm not in Guam anymore. I've already returned to Japan. What? I got on a flight this morning and went home. Well, I felt that just going home from the airport was a bit boring, so I stopped by an onsen hotel. I'm enjoying these hot springs by myself right now. I hadn't realized it until now, but ever since I moved in with you and your mom, who for some reason is living in the new house that was meant for the two of us, I haven't had a single moment of peace and quiet. Oh, how I miss those moments. What? Who said you could just go back to Japan? Just stop doing as you please, will you? We're supposed to be on our honeymoon. Don't you think about how this makes me look? Everyone will think we're a disaster couple already. I'm the one who's doing as I please? You're the one who brought your mom with us on our honeymoon without telling me anything. Not only that, but she wanted to go sightseeing with us, even stay in the same room as us. That is not what a regular person would do. Dustin, this is supposed to be romantic. I already told you I did all of that so my mom would be happy. She's been cooped up in that tiny apartment for months, and this trip was supposed to be a chance for her to unwind. Don't you get it? She barely gets out to see the world, and Guam was a dream destination for her. You wouldn't understand. You've always had your own place and freedom. Yeah, but I'm telling you that that's not what you call a honeymoon. If you would at least ask me in advance, things might be different. But you knew I would disagree, which is why you didn't tell me anything until we actually saw her at the airport in Guam. You thought that I wouldn't be able to refuse you once you actually did it, did you? To be honest with you, yes. That's why I didn't tell you that my mom would be coming with us. But don't you feel bad about leaving my mom behind while the two of us go on a honeymoon? I mean, she wants to go to Guam as well, you know? Only the wife with the husband usually goes to honeymoons. What do you mean? Won't you feel bad leaving my mom behind? Your mom was never supposed to come with us in the first place. Besides, your father is still in Japan, right? Don't you feel bad for him as well? What? My father? Well, not really. I don't think he would have come even if I had asked him to. Mom, on the other hand, begged me to let her come with us. She wanted to go to Guam so badly, Sophia. And you're just going to tell her not to come? Yes. Doesn't matter whether she wants to come with us or not, because it's our own honeymoon. And only the two of us were supposed to go in the first place. Oh, and I thought I should tell your father about what happened. So I did. He got mad when he found out that your mother came on our honeymoon. Seriously? Why did you have to go and tell dad about this? He has the right to know, doesn't he? I mean, he's your parent, just like your mom. Well, that's the situation, I guess. I'm not in Guam anymore. I went back to Japan. Enjoy your honeymoon with your mom, then. Huh? Um, it's not really a honeymoon if it's just me and my mother, though. Seriously? You love your mother so much that you don't even realize I'm making fun of you. What? I don't understand what there is to make fun of in the first place. You're the one who I should be making fun of for being so selfish as to not want my mom to share our honeymoon with us. Yeah, yeah, say whatever you want. There's something I want to talk to you about. Once you and your mom return home, I'll let you two decide when you return. Bye then. What? Um, so does this mean that you're letting me enjoy the rest of my vacation with my mother? This is the first step towards you and my mom getting along better. Hey, Sophia, what are these divorce papers you left behind? They look official and, well, scary. Huh? How? So you came home. This was the day our honeymoon was supposed to end, by the way. Looks like you took it a little too literally when I said enjoy the honeymoon with your mom. But you told me yourself that I could enjoy the rest of my vacation with my mom. We had already bought the plane tickets, so I didn't really see a need to change them. Besides, I thought things were going better after you flew back to Japan first. Going better? Dustin, honey, things have not been going better since the moment I landed in Guam and I was forced to share our honeymoon suite with your mother. Jesus, I wanted to tape signs all over your body saying, warning, major mommy issues in neon flashing lights. Huh? What's so bad about me loving my mother? It's not a mother complex. This is a completely healthy mother and son relationship. We just wanted to spend some quality time together as a family. Healthy? Healthy doesn't involve your mother treating me as a guest in my own marriage bed. And don't even get me started on the passive aggressive comments about my cooking or the accidental disappearance of my favorite jewelry. I'm not saying that your loving mother is bad, Dustin, but I don't think you should prioritize what your mother wants 
over what I, your wife, wants all the time. Yeah, but my mom is not your mom as well. Now that we're married, what do you find so strange about the two of us taking care of our parents as husband and wife? Taking care? Is that what you call your mother's constant jabs and thinly veiled threats? Look, Dustin, if this is your idea of taking care, then sign me up for neglect because, frankly, the mental and emotional abuse I've endured from your mother for the past three months has been unbearable. Abuse? What abuse? My mom would never! Oh, really? Then how do you explain the accidents or the consistent feeling of being watched? Your mother. She keeps telling me that I stole her son from her. And she would throw away my food and treat me like trash, hitting me with brooms and stuff. One time, she even tried to throw away my last remembrance of my grandmother behind my back. Luckily, I was able to get it back from the dumpster, though. She's been abusing me every day for the past three months. I'm at my limit, both mentally and physically. Huh? Hey, Sophia. What kind of lies did you tell my husband? Don't you think a little respect for your elders is in order? Oh, so now it's you, mother-in-law. Did you enjoy your little extended family vacation with your son who you love so much? Seems like that honeymoon package came with a hidden cost. Your marriage. <laughs> there are more important things we need to talk about right now. My husband said that he was divorcing me and left the house. Well, I guess it's only natural for him to do so, wouldn't you say? Considering the <laughs> hospitality you extended to me during your oh-so-brief marriage? Why? What on earth are you talking about? Let's just say the way you treated me wasn't exactly how one would welcome their new daughter-in-law. I mean, I was introduced to your son by someone your husband considers a close friend. A mentor, even. And that's how we got married in the first place. When I told him about that you've been abusing me these past three months, don't you think that it's only natural he got mad at you? What? What do you mean you were introduced to us by my husband's mentor? Is that some elaborate lie you cooked up to turn him against me? That's what I heard at least. But hey, don't take my word for it. Ask your soon-to-be ex-husband. By disrespecting me, you disrespected your husband's mentor, which obviously made your husband mad. Not only did you abuse me at home regularly, you even plotted something with your son, or whatever, and suddenly appeared at our honeymoon destination. To be honest, I think your husband has made a completely fair decision. But there's no way I could have let my son go off without me, with some random woman. What's so wrong about wanting to be with your own son? First of all, I'm not some random wife. I'm his wife, or at least was his wife. And second of all, your problem is not that you just want to be with your son, but that you want to be with your son a little bit too much. And no, I didn't lie to your husband about anything. All I did was tell him how you'd been abusing me these past three months. I just gave him the facts and showed him some evidence as to what you were doing to me. It's your husband, not me, who came up with the idea of divorcing you. I'm not involved with this, so you should discuss it with him, not me. You should have thought about that before you decided to turn our honeymoon into a living nightmare. Sophia, I ordered you to do something about this. Convince my husband not to divorce me or something. Ugh, he'll probably listen to you. You two just got married. There has to be a way to work things out. What makes you think you could give me orders after everything you've done? I'm not your puppet, Emma. In fact, the only thing I owe you is the satisfaction of knowing your actions have consequences. I'm gonna block you right now, okay? Consider this your last taste of respect that you never gave me. I don't want to get divorced. Sophia, please, let's talk about this. Huh? I talked with dad after we got home from Guam, and there's something I know now. The reason that I broke up with all my girlfriends who visited my parents' house in the past was because my mom was interfering. My dad saw this was happening, and so he talked to his mentor about it. His mentor was kind enough to introduce me to another woman. You. So that's why your father apologized to me? He finally noticed how your mom's behavior drove every woman I knew away from you because he was always so busy with work, buried in his research papers, that he couldn't even see what was happening right under his own roof. He apologized to me for making me have to put up with his dysfunctional family and his son's inability to cut the apron strings. What? He called us dysfunctional? And me an apron stringer? But, but mom just wants what's best for me. Hey Dustin, do you even realize what you've been doing these past three months? Do you see how your blind devotion to your mother has choked the life out of our marriage before it even had a chance to breathe? Huh? What are you talking about? When we first met, you called your mother mom. 
probably because deep down you knew that you would find the relationship between you and your mother strange. But ever since we got married and I moved in, you've unconsciously been calling her mommy from time to time. It's a small detail, but a telling one. What? Seriously? I didn't even realize I was doing it. I'm not going to judge you just on how you call your mother, but in your case, you're calling your mother mommy is a sign of your extreme dependence on her probably. And if I'm being honest, it made me feel like I was competing with your mother for affection. A competition I never signed up for. Disgusted? Is that how you felt? Yes, disgusted. Disgusted by the way you let your mother walk all over you. By the way you prioritized her needs and wants over mine at every turn. To be honest, you disgust me on a biological level because I can't help but see your mother in you sometimes. So I want to get divorced. I deserve a partner, an equal, not a man-child who needs his mommy to hold his hand. Disgust you on a biological level? Why? What do you find so disgusting about me and my mother getting along? Oh, I get it. You were probably one of those people that weren't loved by their mother growing up. And that's why you're jealous of our relationship, aren't you? Jesus, Sophia, you're so petty. And here I thought you were starting to realize what you've been doing was wrong until now. Yep, you really are disgusting, Dustin. I don't know why I agreed to marry you in the first place. You disgust me so much that I never want to see you again. Consider this my final goodbye. But I was so happy I was finally able to get married. You have to come back, Sophia, or else. Who knows when I'll find someone else again. I cut ties with my mom. I finally did it, Sophia. I blocked her number, changed the locks on the house, and even threw out that creepy porcelain doll collection she insisted on keeping in the guest room. You happy now? Huh? That means you don't have to divorce me anymore, right? I'm free, Sophia. I'm gonna move to your house right now. So tell me your address this time for sure. We're gonna act like a proper husband and wife. Let's just forget anything ever happened and start over. This time, it'll be just us, building a real life together. Uh, but I already turned in the divorce papers. What? You didn't? Yeah, they were mailed to my house, and so I turned them into the city hall the same day. It seemed like the only way out at the time. Those divorce papers? The one you left on her table and I signed on the day we got back from Guam because I was so mad at you and just did everything mommy told me? Come on, Sophia. That doesn't count, right? I wasn't thinking straight, and my mom was pushing me to do it. Of course it counts. It has your signature and everything. You see, I already told everyone, my friends and family, that we're getting divorced and even your dad's mentor, who introduced me to you in the first place, knows about it already. Besides, even if I hadn't turned them in yet, there's nothing you could do that could change my mind about the divorce. What do you mean there's nothing I can do to change your mind about the divorce? But I just cut ties with mommy because of all of our problems. We don't have to worry about anything now. That's what you wanted, right? For my mom not to be around us? You have to believe me, Sophia. I'm a new person now. Sorry, Dustin. Even if you did somehow magically turn into a new person, I'm just not willing to take the risk anymore. The damage is done. Besides, I don't quite understand in what way you think this solves everything. I think that my feelings towards you, that being disgusted on a biological level, will never change. It's a horrible thing to say, I know, but the thought of being near you, ugh, it makes my skin crawl. Uh. I'm gonna block you now. Goodbye, Dustin. I truly hope you find the happiness you deserve, but it won't be with me. I predicted that my ex-husband Dustin would somehow try and contact me after that. So as soon as I blocked him, I went to the cell phone store and had my cell phone number changed. Of course, I also changed my WhatsApp ID. Luckily, my parents were planning on moving anyway, so I didn't need to worry about him locating me physically. Apparently, the precautions I took paid off since, according to some mutual acquaintances, he's been frantic trying to get a hold of my new contact information. During all of this, Dustin's parents also got a divorce, and as soon as this happened, Dustin's mother suddenly barged into Dustin's house and forcefully moved in with him. Even though Dustin had already cut ties with her, Dustin's mother Emma was always unhealthily dependent on her son. And after she suddenly got divorced with her husband, she began spiraling into mental instability. It seems that she's still interfering with her son's relationships, making it difficult for him to get married. Apparently, Dustin was seen yesterday entering a clinic for the mentally ill by one of his acquaintances.